Well, after renting for more than 30 years, a 74-year-old Ferndale woman on Social Security has weeks to find the money to move out. Or she must come up with enough money to stay in her longtime home. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson live with a closer look at this situation. Jen. Yeah, the pandemic has been really challenging for so many people. Finances just not what they once were. And the owners of the home she has been renting a second floor apartment in decided they need to sell. So they gave her the 30 day notice, which is required by law, started doing upgrades. Meanwhile, people in the neighborhood are worried they're going to lose somebody they say epitomizes Ferndale. Her daily neighborhood walks make spirits soar. People say so often, well, I can relate to your poetry. Do you know? A former educator by trade, 74-year-old Sparrow Karras says uplifting others through words is her calling. It always kind of makes me, each person is brilliant beyond measure, each person is brilliant beyond compare. I love saying that. Sparrow makes the rounds daily, passing out photocopies of her poems. Some call her a local treasure. Sparrow says she's not ready to leave her nest. To stay put. That's my intention and to purchase this home, yes. She's been renting a second floor apartment in this Ferndale home for more than 30 years, back when her landlord promised never to raise the rent. I live on Social Security. $750 pretty much a month. But now those owners have to sell. On uh, July 1st, I was given 30 days notice uh, in terms of moving out. She doesn't know where she will go, how she'll afford to move, and many in the community want her to stay. They even started a GoFundMe page for a down payment to help the woman known for, quote, invoking thought and kindness everywhere she steps. More than $16,000 has been raised so far. I just was doing my thing and not aware that it was having the impact until now. Sparrow says she has Asperger's and it took her time to embrace her own uniqueness. It's clear others are embracing it too. And now I can feel people's love. I didn't used to able, be able to feel people's love. Well, you can certainly feel Sparrow's love just being in her presence, her love and her joy. Now, the owners of the home, I did speak with them, and they said that they're not kicking her out on exactly 30 days, but once they get an offer on the house, it'll be out of their hands. They, like I said, do need to sell the home. Meanwhile, if you'd like to help contribute so Sparrow can either find a new place or purchase this home, we'll put the link to that GoFundMe page on our website at WXYZ.com. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, live in Ferndale for 7 Action News. All right, Jennifer Ann, thank you so much.